Okay, so now the question you'd ask me, how can I remain consistent? How can I remain what? Consistent. Now, I think there are many ways to remain consistent, but for me, my personal favorite is staying in touch with your why. Are we together? What, what is your why? What is it that you are suffering for? Because I'm going to use the word suffering. Because there is nothing, in fact, um, one of the authors um, was uh, explaining and he said that the things that make you successful are the hard ones. The things that make you fail or mediocre are the what? Are the easy ones. For example, you know very well it is easy to, to remain sleeping than waking up at what? At five. Trust me, it is easier to eat chicken and meat and junk food than eating vegetables. Are you getting what I'm telling you? So he, that's according to him. So uh, what, what, what is that thing that go, it's going to make you forego your pleasure and you do things that are not what? Pleasant. What's that thing that will keep you going to the gym, running, muscles are aching when you could really sit at home? What's the thing that's going to make you say, you know what? I'm not going to take juice with sugar. I'll take juice with what? Without sugar. The sour one. What's that thing? What's the thing that's going to make you uh, be reading a motivational book instead of watching a, a, a very nice movie, a series? Are we together? What's the thing that's going to make you work over the weekend when you probably could spend the whole weekend relaxing? What's that thing? Now, that thing must be your why. Why are you doing it? So you must keep in touch with your what? Your why. Now, I know that we all have great whys. We have great dreams. You want to drive Range Rovers. You want to have mansions. You want to have a, a quality time with your, with, your, with your family and all that. All together, you want them. The dreams, I don't have to make you dig deep into your head to ask to, to tell you what you want. Those ones are obvious. But how come that many times we don't remain consistent even when the dreams are clear. Who does not want to drive a Range Rover here? Who wants to drive a Range Rover? You see? So what we want is clear. But how do we be serious so that what we want we're able to get it? And I gave you some few points. Number one, one of the things that I like doing, uh, especially for network marketing business, is to always know your structure, your tree. Every time I, I look at my structure, because you see, if you go to my office, I have a structure for my first dashboard and a structure for my second what? Dashboard. So every time I see my structure, I see exactly where, if I became serious, the next billion will come from. I see if I just add, a, if I put a person in this point, I see where my money will do what? Will come from. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That structure, it's always very, very, very important to know your structure, draw your structure, have your structure, have it in your head, write it everywhere. The moment you're always keeping on looking at your structure, it always reminds you of what you need to do. The second one is the goal card. Are we together? It's the what? Goal card. In my wallet, I have money, but also have a small card the goal card. It has my goals. Are you getting what I'm telling you? It, I showed you two the other time. Are we together? It has my goals. What do I want to do? What do I want to achieve? Then behind that goal card, there are things which I will do to achieve those what? Goals. Because it's one thing to want something. It's one thing to say I'm going to become a Diamond Globe Ambassador. It's one thing to say I'm going to become a Millionaire Circle member. It's another thing to now. What are you willing to do? What should you do for you to be able to achieve that? So behind is my goal card. And I like looking at it and reading it every now and what? And again. So it reminds me of my resolutions. The reason why many times we set goals at the beginning of the year and by the second month, by uh, February, we have forgotten them. We forgot, we said we shall be disciplined, we shall be whatever, we shall be in this area, we shall focus on our families, are you together? It's simply because there's nothing that keeps reminding you. Are we together? As human beings, it's natural and it's okay that we forget. So always remind yourself with a goal card. 
have goals written down, get them in a what? In a goal card. The other one is the dream chart. At home, on the side of the bed where I wake up from, are we together? Is the moment I wake up, I see my dream chart there. Even in my office, just in front of my desk is my dream chart. I keep on looking at them. I look at the things I want to achieve. I look at some of the things that I said before, these are the things I'm living for. Are we together? So that constant reminder is very key. The other one is motivational material. One time I was uh, reading a motivational book. I remember one of my brothers, though he was joking really, he was saying that, uh, how can reading a book make you rich? Are you getting what I'm telling you? And he was right. No, the, the reading a book does not make you rich. It's actually that makes you what? Rich. Are we together? But what these books do, they inspire you to take what? Action. I want to attribute almost everything I've achieved in my life because of reading books, because of listening to audios. Every time I hear Les Brown telling me, you're a winner, you can do it. I hear Jim Rohn saying, be disciplined, are we together? I hear maybe, maybe, uh, um, maybe one of the other authors teaching frugality, it reminds me, I must be frugal, I must be consistent, I must be this, I must, you know, I think I'm going back here. So those books, all motivational material, they are checkers to ask you, where am I? And the best thing you can ever do as a networker is to buy earphones and a phone and put on audios and maybe some books. Are we together? Then, lastly, attending what? Training. Some of us, if you attend a training or event, you go back and you're not the same again. You, you really feel motivated. How about you can expose yourself to that over and over and over again? Let me tell you, some of us who are new into network marketing, the best part about network marketing is that it makes you a dreamer. The best part about network marketing, you are challenged every day. I read my first book on motivation because of network marketing. I attended my first seminar because of network marketing. I made my first dream chat because of network marketing. I started dreaming because of network what? Marketing. That even if I didn't get money from network marketing, which if you're consistent, it's obvious you'll get the money. Surely, that thing about being a dreamer is very, very, very key. Are we together? And it's one of the best things you can ever do to what? To yourself. Are we together? Let us continue. Now, um, okay, the other one is that consistency, uh, we are saying that consistency, it allows for measurement. Are we together? Now, surely you cannot know if something will work out or not until you have tried it over a longer period of what? Of time. I've given you examples of uh, people who have failed at different areas. Imagine when you fail in politics, by the way, especially for Uganda's constitution, for five years. You understand? Then you fail another five years making it 10. You fail another five years making it 15. Remember, you're not growing what? Younger. Are we together? Then you try one more last time. Ah, and you become what? Successful. So you cannot know if something will work out or not until you are what? Consistent. 